What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another ranking. With the release of The Nun, the fifth film in the Conjuring universe, that is right guys, it's time to give you my ranking of all five Conjuring movies ranked worst to best. Pretty crazy to believe that there's a Conjuring universe, there's so many cinematic universe, Marvel, DC, too many to name. And this is a horror universe, so I'll give you my thoughts on each of the Conjuring movies, guys. But what I want you to do is leave me your rankings down below in the comments section. Tell me your thoughts on all these movies. Tell me your thoughts on my list. And let's have a great discussion down below about all these movies. This is all subjective, guys. These are all my personal opinions, so please don't get offended down below in the comments section. And without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number five is Annabelle. Were you expecting anything else? I watched this movie yesterday to prepare for this list, and I could barely get through it. This movie is so bad. Oh my goodness. Whoever the cinematographer for this movie should be fired from Hollywood. This movie is so horribly shot. The characters in this movie are so stupid. Annabelle Wallace, she's really coming to her own. She was pretty solid in Tag. She was awful in The Mummy as well. Her character is so goddamn stupid. The husband as well, and Alfred Woodard is in this movie. Why? This film didn't need to exist. It's basically the Annabelle doll. It's a deep diving exploration into that doll, and it didn't need to be made because The Conjuring was such a great horror film. They just had to make a movie about the Annabelle doll. This could have worked. It could have been so much better. The sequel was better, but Annabelle sucked. Coming in at number four is the newly released The Nun. I just uploaded my review, guys, my reviews on my channel. Go check that out. And my thoughts on the movie, highly disappointed. I wanted to love this movie more than I did. This could have worked as a great prequel to The Conjuring Universe, but this movie, again, is so boring. The movie's 96 minutes long. It builds up a lot of jump scares and three main characters, and the movie goes nowhere. I didn't learn anything about Valak the Nun, because she's barely in the movie. And the lead characters, Tysa Farmiga is the younger sister of Vera Farmiga. She was pretty bland, but her character was just poorly written. These characters are poorly written, and they're given fine performances. The direction was pretty bland, the story was bland, it didn't go anywhere. And there's too many jump scares that don't work. And they're very predictable. The camera goes one place, and then it turns back around, and the demon or whatever thing is there. It's so predictable, so stupid. The Nun had a weak script. It could have been so much better, but it's only my number four. Coming in at number three is Annabelle Creation. I've only seen Annabelle Creation once, but I really liked it. It was actually an improvement over the first Annabelle movie, and David F. Sandberg did a fantastic job with Lights Out. And he's directing Shazam next year, that's surprising. And this movie actually did have some creepy scenes. I thought all the acting was great, Lulu Wilson was fantastic, and I was really interested in this prequel story of learning more of how Annabelle was created. All of the tension-filled scares were very scary. There's one scene involving these stairs is great. But it has a pretty bland and predictable story with some certain characters that go nowhere. So if I were to think of some flaws, some other characters besides the little girls were really underdeveloped. And yeah, it's pretty predictable for a horror movie. But overall, Annabelle Creation was way better than the first Annabelle. And it's pretty solid direction from David F. Sandberg. Alright, the top two. You guys know what the top two are, but which one is my favorite? Let's find out. Coming in at number two is The Conjuring. I watched The Conjuring again yesterday, and The Conjuring's a really great horror film. James Wan, this is one of the best horror films of this decade. I can easily say that. James Wan is a fantastic horror director, and the characters and the story and the scares in this movie are intense and pretty creepy. People claim this to be one of the scariest movies they've ever seen, and this movie is creepy, but I didn't find it, like, Exorcist level scary. But the movie is very intense and it really made me feel uncomfortable and made me stood up from my seat a lot and it's pretty intense. My hands were shaking and all the acting in the film is fantastic. Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson as the Warrens were great casting choices. And James Wan is the superstar for this movie. His direction is flawless. The Conjuring, one of the best horror films of the decade. It's just great. But it is not better than my number one. Coming in at number one is The Conjuring 2. 
I like The Conjuring 2 more than The Conjuring, and I'll explain why. The story in The Conjuring 2 is what draws me more to it. And the performances the actors give, I thought Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson were better in the film, and I think it has the greatest child active performance from the franchise in Madison Wolf. One of the greatest child performances I've seen in this decade. She is so damn good as this girl. The way she transforms her voice into that creepy old Bill, it's so terrifying. And this had some great creatures that we get introduced to. The nun, Valak, gets introduced in the film. She's really creepy. That scene, the mirror scene, is so creepy. Awesome. The Crooked Man. The Crooked Man's getting his own movie as well. Pretty cool as well. And it has my favorite finale. The ending of this movie is edge of your seat scary shit. I remember seeing it in theaters, that ending had me on the edge of my seat, it was so great, and James Wan again, this guy knows what he's doing with horror, and he made a masterpiece of a sequel, I love The Conjuring 2, it's great, it's my number one. There you have it guys, that was my ranking of all The Conjuring movies, let me know your guys thoughts on my list, and what are your rankings? I want to know that more importantly, let me know down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this ranking, and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click that notification bell on your way out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!